Good evening, good people. And welcome to the community presentation of Final Fantasy Randomizer Winter Tournament 2024. Winter Robot Wars Chaos Wing X. I am Saracen, joined in the booth tonight by Classic Gamer 76. How are you doing, Classic? I'm doing pretty good. I am excited for this race tonight. Yeah, this, uh, this one should be a pretty good one. Uh, we've got Krellin versus Demon RHK. Uh, they are consistent uh, tournament competitors in the winter slash spring tournament series. And uh, I think this is a good matchup. Good skill level matchup. So, looking forward to it. Yes, I am looking forward to this as well, of course. There's, this is round one up bracket, so it's going to be double elimination, so whomever is the runner-up does get another chance, although this tournament is filled with tough racers. And not only that, this flag set is wild, as we have an Oops All Loose style progression, shard hunt, there's just all sorts of wrenches that can be thrown in when we're looking at things. The only incentivized items are going to be on our fetch NPCs. They're mostly equipment plus the tail. So, this is, uh, like I said, a little wild. And sometimes we see very uh, interesting divergence. Yes, indeed. I mean, it, the sea can sometimes direct the runners in, in the same direction. Sometimes you can get divergence pretty quickly, and so this has been some pretty fun seed to watch. Yeah, and uh, I think right off the bat, we got a little bit of an interesting divergence just in our party selections. We've got a four-man Thief Fighter Red Black on Krellin's side versus a Thief White Black on Demon RHK's side. Classic, you want to bring us through the blur sings? With pleasure, the fighter has Self Magic, which will be Roots and Saber at level 8. Of course, being a non-magic cast, it's only going to get those two casts. And improve Cat Claw, so find the Cat Claw, you know, it can put it on there. The Thief gets Red Mage Armor, and we're off. You <laughs> sure are. And, and to flip Axing, we have Hupt, the that Light 2 will be Red Wizard and Knight Learnable, and... If Ice 2 is a sweeper, and we have actually Stun and Stop with some Paralysis. Stun and uh, and Lit are actually really powerful in this flag set. We have the improved Ice, Lightning, and Fire flag turned on, so those single target level 1 spells actually do as much as the level 3s. They're just still single target. And with the Power Word threshold set up to 600, Stun and the other Power Word spells are very strong. We actually have improved dark, so even blind can be useful, but with stun at level 1, I don't know if they'll be getting that. We've got a tent and a ruby out of Northwest Toad. Meanwhile, to finish up the blur scenes, the red mage has plus heal 2 and plus 10 luck. The white mage plus 2 level 1 MP and plus 10 strength. And the black mage plus 20 strength and fast. Starting fast is a huge boost. I think both of our runners recognize that right out the gate. Just not having to worry about it. And we've had seeds in this tournament so far where uh, if you get cleanse magic or you know something like that, blocking out the level 8s, sometimes you just don't have access to faster temper. And that can be very painful depending on party comp with the scaling that we have in these players. The king has some money, and the princess has a ship, and getting blocked out of a level 8 fast, that seems to happen whenever I play through the game, <laughs> throwing my <laughs> own seeds. So, with a 2,000-year-old ship, that's like the literal ship of Theseus. Like, <laughs> you've had to have replaced things at some point. Uh, Pro Ring plus 4, 7,500. Very nice. Best hand armor in the game normally, and death protection on top of that. Meanwhile, even RHK taking on Garland. Things you saw with Krillin is he actually went with the Lightning 1, taking advantage of that improved damage. Another time that the, uh, the Lit and Fire and Ice spells will be handy is amusingly through the Confuse. 
So when the monster is confused, it is casting fire on itself. <laughs> Which means that when you're using Confuse on Carrie, for example, yeah, she might actually just take herself out. And it's hilarious, and of course, what's really amazing is that if someone realizes and tries X her on her. I will admit to having done that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Make it really hurt. Alright, Demon RHK, I think, ran out of spell slots um, and had to come back in for the fight. Again, that Ice 2 kind of problematic in that regard. If it doesn't roll well, then you have a real problem. But having two Black Magic casters and uh, and having purchased Lit on Krellin's side, that was a very easy encounter. Well, Krellin getting the pirates out. Yep. We'll see what Vicky has for us. I'm guessing nothing interesting. It's the canal! <laughs> oh! Canals aren't that interesting, are they? <laughs> I mean, they are nice progression, but that they're not too interesting. <laughs> so, even all loose, the, uh... Oh, that's a gold plus four for 13k. That's yeah. very nice. But, uh, even with, uh, the main NPCs being loose, you know, not actually having incentivized items. Sometimes you get key items landing there. And we've seen it pretty often with it's some very hilarious times. <laughs> well, Krellin picked up you know, the Buckler plus five, another nice piece of armor that is fairly inexpensive, and we've heard yes, that's always nice to see. Not much more well, the confuse for carry if you want to confuse her. So... I think on the Red Mage side, yeah, we've got the Invis 2 and the Cure 3. I don't know why we wouldn't pick up Confuse on the Black Mage. Like, we have the money. It's actually pretty good. We have uh, Wood Armor plus 6 as well. Actually good armor. I saw a Shard and a Thousand Gold, but I missed the first chest on the uh, Matoya Cave. Yeah, I didn't catch it either. I mean, we'll rep see it when Frelon heads back. She's doing now. Basically, not much divergence yet. They just swap for who did Matoya and Provoka first. Yep. Now, Demon RHK is going to really enjoy that harm four. <laughs> That's going to be a big boom. All right, it was another like 1,100 gold. Krellin doesn't care. He just resets back to the dock. The canoe was tempting, but do you think you would actually explore the Outer Sea or head to Elfland or maybe the Dwarves and see what they have? Dwarves is a quick two checks. Um, if I were in this position, Elfland is a stop, but I don't know if it's the stop that I made before getting out of the Inner Sea. So that there's the South Dock of Elfland, and that can be very helpful. Now, we have a white-locked exit. That's kind of a big deal. We have Lit 3 at level 3. So, you know, a little bit more sweeper power than we had before. Heal 3, three. learnable for the Red Mage. Um, warp. Yes, yep. we want warp. <laughs> We're not yes, going we to have charges of warp for, like, 5 levels. But warp is always nice. Bane and Zap aren't bad either. Zap's low accuracy, but... Nothing technically resisted except chaos? Yeah, Zap has occasional very strong uses. Uh, it's great against man cats. It's, I think, pretty good against airs because I believe airs just have low MDEF. Um, they kind of skate by on high agility, like evasion stat and HP. But um, relatively susceptible to Zap. Not great, but it's a thing. Also pretty decent against Lich. True. If you're not going to quake him, you can zap him. And Krellin headed to Marsh, which, yeah, it's not a bad play. It's a level appropriate play. Getting, you know, abused by some geists. Also notable this seed, none of the save items were particularly affordable. Tents were 56, which is a lot for a tent in my mind. Um, 
the cabins I think were 220 and the houses were over 3k. So we're seeing relatively painful save items. Housing market is not friendly in this scene. Well, probably covering a few shadows in Marsh. Uh, chain plus six armor in the armor shop. That is super good. The silver plus six bonk looks very tempting until you remember you had the pro rank plus four. And no one can equip it on Demon RHK's side anyway. <laughs> Not the right. motion anyway. Silver hat plus six. There are a lot of unrunnables in this marsh. <laughs> This is... Yeah, this is not a good place to see unrunnables. There's actually more, I believe, 16% versus vanilla 12%, so there could be a bunch of time fighting here. Absolutely right. The, um, the other thing we hear is Marsh has a pretty diverse biome, so to speak. Lots of different enemy formations, lots of different enemies within them. It can be a little bit harrowing you get the wrong things in Marsh. The wrong things being anything with a nasty script, and with the number of enemies there are in there, there's a lot of possibilities for something with a nasty script. Meanwhile, Demon RHK also making his way to Marsh. Now, Krellin has the information that there's nothing of interest upstairs, <laughs> which is good information. There was, like, a soft, some money, and two pieces of silver equipment. So... Jetting down to the basement, we're going to get these six checks and see what's up. Maybe we find the key and it turns into uh, nine checks. That'd be nice. That would be a nice, spicy placement of the items. So far, we have a shard and 5k gold and something to sell for gold. <laughs> yeah. The local helmet looks night nice for a night until you realize ribbons. Yeah. You know... The night you can get your pseudo ribbon set up and have the ribbons on everybody else, sure, but like even then, the opal helm is just not that good. <laughs> Unrunnable wizards! Hooray! Treptiles oh, are sleep. vanilla. Sleep is not vanilla though. And crap! <laughs> What is it? Well, you know, at least it zoops all loose, and we might not need that chest. And for anyone who is wondering in chat who rolled this, the answer would be Danny. Who is well known in the FFR community for her seed rolling. You know, what I am going to say to that is Danny has a reputation for rolling bad seeds in large part due to rolling so many seeds. It's, you know, we do jokingly call her Our Lady of Nuclear Spiders, but, you know, it's not all her fault. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you roll enough seeds, you're bound to roll some bad ones. I mean, I've played many casual seeds myself, and I've rolled some doozies of my own. Krellin's going back for it, which I'm a little concerned about. Um, especially with... <laughs> Ugh, these wizards lived. Alright, well, they both let off with sleep. Demon RHK is gone. Um, I missed if that was a, a wipe and reset, which seems probable with the wizards. Yep. Meanwhile, Krillin bounces out the wizards a second time. We'll see if he actually tries that chest again. I mean, what might be in there, but could also be nothing. I mean, I mean, the probability is that it's nothing. So when we think about what's still available right now, we have uh, the ability to go to Titans, to the first three floors of Earth. Uh, we still have Sarda. We can go to Crescent Lake and talk to the Sages. Like, there's a fair number of checks still outstanding. It doesn't have to be here. <laughs> yeah. Now... Oh, and the first two checks of Dwarf as well. So, like, we don't necessarily need to be in here. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's Bracken Lock 2 at level 
Uh, Brachius promo lock is... Memory serves. We also had Wall, the most notable Bright Magic spell at level 5, but Demon Orange K is now going to, you know, check out Titans, check out Sarda. Now, Krellin did pick up the crystal. That could be the tail, it could be a ribbon, you know, there's all sorts of things it could be. Um, and he's going to just take that on out. He's going to skip over that shard as well, which that was like the real prize here, along with the 5k box. But I respect it. You know, this place is not great. Yeah. Marsh has a well-deserved bad reputation. So why with those wizards? Yeah, the even vanilla, those wizards are horrible. They wizards, quote-unquote, as they melee you to death. At least they're casting things here. Uh, we get a slab from Sarda. That is the worst check in the game. Yeah. Can... But we know it, it It could be the ribbon, it could be our sword, you know, something like that, but it's still the fame. <laughs> yeah, which is way out of the way, and of course you also have to translate the slab, and that's easy to forget to do, or if you do it to forget you've done it. <laughs> and um, Red Mage, our tracker and chat, pointed out that Earth is not going to be fun, and that is true because we'll have those unrunnable wizards down a few floors. Now, notable also for Earth is that the, uh, the Asps have Hold as a first spell. And asps are very common on a couple floors of Earth. And they come in large packs, so that could be a real problem. But meanwhile, he's going to check out dwarves. There is a bridge. Um, that's a little late to be helpful. There's a bottle? Okay. We got a shard on Krellin's side. So the bottle, another equipment turn in, right? And both of these parties are really going to want the tape. We don't have anything that's going to allow for equipping of uh, of good swords without that, unless we find and take the Warmack box. Yes, because the Warmack is guarding the Masa in this flag set. Of course, we don't know what the Masa rolled. It could forget what the range is, but the Masa... Could roll down a little, but it's still going to be a Masa. <laughs> but we wouldn't get the Excal, we wouldn't get the Katana, we wouldn't get the Vorpal. Uh, minus one to plus five is the range on our weapons. With minus one to plus six on our armor. Demon RHK moving on to Earth. This is... This is a thing. I wonder if there's something funny like an Oxyone here and the Rod and C or something like that. We do have Northern Docks. First chest is the little money. Demon Arch K doesn't care. Krillin's picking up his flat. He's going to be with that. And a big chunk of money. Demon Arch K keeps that, or at least for the moment. Yeah, money is kind of a weird thing in this flag set. He's going to just reset right out of it. So, especially early, because of the way that the scaling is set up in these flags, the the money situation can be a little tense, except for all the boxes you're opening. And the scaling only ramps up as you get more shards. You're getting 12.5% increased gold and experience per shard. Um, that is substantial, but it's... At the same time, when you're starting from a low bar, it's a little hard. The rod is <laughs> in Earth. Earth. Hooray! No, love it. And the, the key. key! I'd leave. I would get out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't remember if Demon RHK picked up exit, but I would just, you know, ignore everything else. Get out of there, do the checks. I mean... We know Earth is going to be unpleasant further down. Let's do something else and get a few levels. The side note is 
do we actually have the levels to cast exit? It's only level three. You need to be level five character to have a charge of it. I don't know if we're that level yet. <laughs> that is a very good point. We've seen some guys at early levels, and here are those asps that like to say, hold it. Yeah, okay. Well, the white mage gets the run there, and that's what really counts. And once you see that, like, you know that your risk of death is so much higher because you've seen that they have a script and that the script contains spells. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, and... Peter K gets an adamant out of Earth, too, so Earth providing. Um, they also have gaze. What is this? Yeah. These are some paralyzing asps, and Demon Arch K, spicy plate, he's going down to Earth 3 here. This is super sketchy. Because I don't think he has the resources to kill Lich. And once you're down to floor 3 with the rod, you kind of want to kill Lich. Like, I would not be making this play because the resources aren't there to escape if you get into a big unrunnable fight. And we're seeing, oh, level 8 across the board in the Adventure RHK's party. Maybe he does have a charge of exit. But he has blasted through basically all of his harm fours at this point. And another unrunnable and... Oh, oh he does have two charges. Okay. Black Mage is stuck casting Ice 2, which is not very effective against the Undead, of which there are a ton in Earth. Yeah, maybe the plan is check this box and then get out. Oh, he's still walking. I am very concerned. <laughs> I share your concern. Meanwhile, Krellin picks up his rod. He's just probably hoping the other didn't go to Earth thinking that they would wait to get the rod. Regrets. Yes. <laughs> this might be the turning point for Demon, is the Lit 3 goes out, we clear out this pack, and we go, hmm, we have no offense left but Ice 2. <laughs> yes. And then you kind of have to put that mental note in it. He's still going. Like you have to put in the mental note that you've got this box here. Okay, the Earths can be run from. And it's a Thor hammer. That actually could be a big deal. Yes, because that is free lightning to AoE. Okay. Oh, I'm We're exiting. Out. Yeah. Okay. So I'm finding out that monkeys are unrunnable. Yeah, it's a real bad time. Um, okay, Demon RHK is out. That means we're going for all the lock checks. So that's six in Canary Castle, three in Tofe Locked, eight in Dwarf, uh, four in Elf, three in Northwest. Probably skip Marsh Locked. Unless you found absolutely nothing. I've seen at least one to see this tournament where there was something in Marsh Locked, but... I no saw a chime in Marsh Locked. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to go back to Marsh unless they have to. Usually, they go back unwillingly if they have to. Oh, it's absolutely a last location play for most runners. Yeah, I hate to say it, that house is actually value. <laughs> we get an Ice Armor plus one, even RHK can equip that post-promotion. But, you know, we're not there yet. Also, level 9 across the board for Demon RHK. That's uh, sizable. We have spell charges now. We actually have resources. Yeah, Warp being at level 4, that would be level 8 for the Black Mage, and I think level 10 for the Red Mage, and Krellin has turned around. He is going out the old-fashioned way, or get closer and then warp out. I don't know if he has warp charges. I don't think he does. Alright, what does Toflocked have in store for us? Some gargoyles, which we knew were there. A shard, okay. I like shards. Yep. Shards are good. 
Now, the, the follow-on to this is, if it's only that shard, you probably... Well, I guess he's got... Oh, you get a pro ring for free. We're, we're taking that. We, we yes. take those. Um, but, yeah, you, you kind of don't want to do the walking if you can avoid it. And he'd saved all the way back at Canaria, so he could have saved himself the steps if he didn't like what was there. Right, Krillin translates his slab in case he ends up deciding to go to Lafayne, which I have seen done a few times. It's really hard, this flag set, to get there. <laughs> like, you know, as much as you might want to go to Lafayne, if you're really after that, likely a sword or something like that. You have to find the canoe and the floater, and the number of seeds this tournament where you don't have one or the other is pretty substantial. Uh, Adamant turning into the opal bracelet plus five, pretty nice. If the vanilla opal bracelet is as strong as the fire or ice armor, so that's probably the strongest, well, for Demon RHK, that's probably going to be the strongest piece of armor he finds for anyone. And there's a chime in Dwarf Lock. Yeah, that opal plus five, very handy. Um, yeah, Krellin, I think, was level six across the board exiting Earth, so... We're still walking out. We're getting a little bit of time save on Demon RHK's side with these exit casts. The only real thing that Krellin has over Demon RHK at this point is that he picked up that crystal out of Matoya. But, you know, here we are having to uh, walk out because we just don't have those level 4 charges yet. Meanwhile, Demon RHK is headed in the direction of... Well, doing that nice little trick of walking into the town and then into the castle, he's going to check out what the elves have in their closet. A shard? Yeah, yeah, a shard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too bad a check, so, you know, Demon RJ keeps it. So, for Krellin, I would suspect that he'll see the shard in Toflocked, he'll see that there's nothing else, and he'll just reset, because he doesn't have the warp charges yet, and going through the gargoyle fight a third time, and then all the steps to walk out, and all the steps to walk back to Canaria, it's just a lot. I agree, we'll see what he does, but, you know, I tend to agree, I think he knows what he's going to do. Well, ogres have been unrunnable all seed, both the regular and the you know, green ogres. We'll see if the whiz ogres hold up their end of the bargain. The trifecta. Demon RHK heading to northwest, going to check out the kindly old king's closet. There's that reset. <laughs> Uh, that's a vanilla katana. That's not the best news, but it's great news to have. Yes, the katana is still a katana. Tied for the highest crit rate with the Vorpal and quite a bit more attack power. Big equal to the Sun Sword. Uh, notable with that improved cat claw for the fighter. That cat claw will have the same base crit as that katana. So, if we check our weapon shops we might have a bonus. Quick Krillin grabs the ice armor. Let's see if he throws that on his fighter. Oh, he does go back to buy some pearl rings. That's good memory there. Remember, those are Canary, and he has the money, so he's picking them up. Meanwhile, Demon RHK going to check out Marsh Lock. No charm in there this time, but there could be an Oxiel or something like that in there, you never know. So with Demon RHK making this check, we're still going for the wizards. We have more tools than we had before. We still are getting slept. <laughs> yeah. There's this nice tool called Turn Order, which generally seems to go to the monsters. Ooh. Um not just generally, like, it is almost... Uh, 
it's so stacked in the monster's favor because the way that the turn order works is it puts the enemies first, then the party, and then it makes four swaps at random. And that just means that the monsters have this very difficult to overcome advantage. Demon RHK ended up wiping to the wizard, so he's heading back in. Meanwhile, Owen realizes he doesn't have the herb. You know, he knew he was going into Elf Castle. <laughs> that yeah. was the party remembered. I've been there. I've done it. Yep. Play this game enough, and you will do the same thing. We've all been there. So Budge asking about Warble plus four or five compared to the Katana. I say that the um, the difference of blurs of at least three is what will swing the Warble to be better than the Katana. Some folks say we need the, the extra attack power base. Some people say any crit more than the Katana is already a boon. Um, you know, three on the Blurse is pretty good. <laughs> like it, it makes up half the gap on the attack power, and it's uh, it, it's just a little bit of oomph in the crit. Like, what, one and a half? No. It's uh, two crit per Blurse point, so it ends up being three crit. Pro reset out of the town. Of course, he doesn't have a thief, so. And he, he has, has a thief. Mace. Oh, wait, he, he, does, he does. Why was I thinking he did? I was thinking he had the white mage for some reason. I think he wishes he had the white mage. Now, what I don't understand is having the fighter up front instead of the thief. I don't understand that either. Meanwhile, wizards keep peddling crack to demon RHK and. You know, fairly low levels, you're not going to have good M-Death, we haven't seen any ribbons yet, so... You there just need to leave that chest behind. You just need to yeah. ignore it. It stinks. You don't like doing it, but you just gotta. The Ruse Stick from Matoya, we're going to reset out of that, keep that in the back of our mind for later. Alright, so... What have we got left? Crescent Sages have had an item so often, <laughs> it's so dumb every time, like, you feel bad walking all that way and then getting, like, you know, an iron gauntlet or something, but they've had the canoe in so many scenes that I've seen. <laughs> and Krellin's gonna go check. Meanwhile, yep. Deeper RHK skipping the wizard chest and looking at the other... Marshall, looking at Marshlog, of course, one of them I do believe is guarded by wizards. He gets a pro K plus three. That is pretty good armor for really anyone in his party. Yeah. The problem also with the crack on wizard pack is that the uh, it's earth element. <laughs> oh, there's a ribbon! Oh, that all right. Help. That the Marshlock pays off. You put that ribbon on the white mage. On the white mage. You win. There we go. <laughs> I was just gonna let that cogitate for a second. Just, just hope he heard me. Yup. Alright, so this with uh, this white mage is practically invulnerable. Let's go. <laughs> Temper level six. Oof. Alright, and with only two wizards, they're still going to crack the other characters. <laughs> The TNT coming from the Sages, so that is going to turn into another one of our equipment pieces. The Aegis plus five shield. Which would in... be great for Krellin, but Demon doesn't need it. <sighs> oh, th there's emotional damage that's occurring here right now. Um, <laughs> Alright, Demon gets the crystal, which again we know is the Ruse Stick. So in, in in that pseudo ribbon setup that the knight can get, Earth is still not protected. That Aegis shield is it's nice, it's just not ideal. <laughs> these, these wizards! Yeah. Oh, uh, for a silver bonk. <laughs> well, we know, but Owen does not, that there's nothing particularly important guarded by the wizards, but Marshlock 
tries it is definitely going to be worth it for the ribbon. One thing I saw Frelin doing there, like, is he picked up Quadax with that 600 power word threshold. That can be really effective, and we've seen it land a few times during this tournament. Absolutely. Now, I'm curious what Krellin is targeting here. So, without the canoe, we don't have a way into Waterfall. Oh, the chime! That we're gonna get the, uh, is it 18 checks? That, that we get out of just Mirage? I don't remember the exact number. Now, we saw the rod in Earth 2. Will we see a cube in Greater Than Less Than? That would be hilarious. Um, also terrifying. We don't have the, the tools for Sky right now. <laughs> Bane, you've got Brack. You could just get the Tia. Of course, that's the uh, hard part. The floater. Okay, okay, now where's our canoe? You know, ice too, not bad here. I, I respect it. Nightmares are weak against ice too. It'll do decent damage to the bad men. Now, one problem is we still don't have a weapon on that right now. <laughs> Fisticuffs. That fighter hanging in there with one point, but that's all you need. You know, I've seen seeds finished on one hit point. It's fine. Yep. That's, just need one to win. It gets chrome up to level 7 and 8 across the board. Meanwhile, Sharks and Arce heads unrunnable? Yuck. Yeah, that's just a, such a time waste encounter. All right, we still don't have a warp charge. Um, yep, we gotta get to level eight for that, buddy. And unrunnable catmen—they um, do not resist lightning three. Now, if they just punch us out before we can deal with them, because they have over two hundred hit points. Eee. Lightning Freeze and four of the six are still alive. That's concerning. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, Red Mage bringing up Zap. Actually, Catmen are more resilient to Zap than Man Cats. <laughs> like, you wouldn't think that necessarily, but the Man Cat M Def is so low, and they get by on having resistance to everything but time. Uh, yeah. It's the green ones. You, you zap the green ones. Yeah. I just like to think of it as that man cats have the same elemental resistances as Warmack. Mm hmm. And only one sort of chaos. Human RHK also heading to Mirage, so he's going to find the floater. The question is, you know. Is there something like a canoe or a cube in Grey of the West Sun? I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a cube, personally. <laughs> so, what would make the cube particularly devious here is that the levels just don't support what we're doing here. That floater is good news. The runnable blue D is good news. Um, that tile stinks. I don't like it. Um... <laughs> I've been hating that tile since 1990. Right? Good major tracker check calling out Axia. Oh, that would be trolly. <laughs> so yeah, that would be trolly, but we're actually better equipped to deal with C than we are Sky. <laughs> yes. With the lightning three charges, I mean, you could definitely handle C a lot better. Now, what is nice is we're gonna see the uh, the levels come in a little quickly here. That's going to be a big deal for um, both runners. I think Krellin is in greater need of these levels right now. Well, some shards, some money. There's the Oxygen! Oh, oh, oh. Of course, you haven't seen the other chests. Bane, Bane Sword. sword. Ooh. Opal plus five armor, which could be really good for Krellin, but Bane Sword will help us deal with, you know, pesky squids in the Sea Shrine, potentially. 
Yeah, that's, um, that's a good find. Now, funny follow-up with that is that you could theoretically, um, stop at Matoya, pick up the ruse stick, and just get something relatively invulnerable. You know? Uh, we're checking encounters in the desert real quick, which I understand, you know? That's... These can be good supplementary levels if you get the right ones. The... We're just not at a shard count where they're gonna pay off well. Demon Earth K, thinking along the same lines, taking on a steak, whereas Curlin grabbed a few sandwiches. I do love some sandwiches from time to time. The good old fun police stopping us on our way out. The, <laughs> nah, we don't want the extra sandwiches. We, we got our fill at the deli. The, the two were enough for the whole party. We just split them. You know, you get the, the footlongs and you just each take half. Demon RHK got up to 12 and 13 across the board. If he got Brack, he will have a charge of it. reached the sunny shores of, of Amarak. We're gonna see that Gurpeeds have fire too and be like, hmm, maybe not um, ice. No, no, not ice. Right, we're still not seeing a shop item, which is potentially good news. We are gonna stock up on heals before going in, which is good. We're gonna accidentally fumble past our required number of heals, which is not as Of course, that's still better than the old days of one heal pot at a time. Yeah. Ice 3 at level 7. We're not even checking white magic. But what I have noticed is that New Confade have rolled evasively high. Yes, we have not seen those yet. Coral Sword plus 2. Put that on the thief. Even RHK also making the trip up here, looking at a restock potentially. Need at least a couple houses, gonna pick up a dozen. And he is going to check white magic and we have Ruse and Harm 3. That, that's the best place to see those. One of those is actually might be told is actually Black Mage learnable, but we're nowhere close in levels for the charges anyway. Gersharks, not bad experience. The lit one actually kind of helpful here, but the problem is unfortunately, while they do get the damage buff, they don't get an accuracy buff. So you're still dealing with an unfortunately high MDEF on the Gersharks. They're just gonna do piddly damage, but still better than the Ice 2, I think. And Water's taking a page out of the Wizard's book and using Crack. Ooh. Jeez! Gershark Big Eye, one of my favorite encounters in the game. I actually hate avoiding that encounter. I will take it every time. Well, not like every, every also time. taking it, which need levels. You've got Thor Hammer. You've got Lift Three. Yeah, this uh, this looks good. All right. Krellin trying to burn an encounter. To make sure that he doesn't get waters? Is that, is that what we're doing? That might be what we're doing. I think that might be what we're doing. Hey, Krellin, you got the key. You know what chest you need to check. That's, that's an after mermaid's problem. Flame sword? swords have been fined. Oh, he didn't pick up the coral sword. <laughs> I, mean, I thought he did, but I think he didn't get it is when he redove. Yeah, he he didn't stop by that chest on the way down. Um, so yep, that's that's fine. 
and Linkshot CO3 in chat pointing out that, you know, weakness will add to the accuracy. Yes, it will. Which is, you know, the damage spells have terrible accuracy. It actually matches Rub 24. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. Very unfortunate. We're getting a fair number of shards here now. Does either of our runners. Do it, Krillin. Yes! Yes! Bubble <laughs> Soda Company, thanks you for your service. All carbonation will be collected for our next bottle. Well, I'm going to check the other chests on right side too. Meanwhile, Demon Arch K, will he? Yeah, well, Bubbles just asked for it there. Thank you, Demon Arch K. <laughs> Indeed. So we are seeing decent levels come in on our on our parties here. 14 on Demon Arch K's side, 11 on Krellin's. You know, understandable gap given the uh, the extra character on Krellin's side. And TFC provides a pure potion. It's like the Asher trunk. It always pays out. It's just, you know, it doesn't pay out value. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? Meanwhile, Demon RHK heading left side now. Hope we've seen further progression here. Cube would be hilarious. Crown might be interesting too, because then. That opens up Astos, who, well, he wouldn't have anything to get him further, though. He'd just have equipment. Yeah. Which, we could still find it, but it wouldn't be the only thing we would find. And Waters with their sleep and their crack. I yeah. am mildly entertained that the crack managed to not land on a single party member. You know, that Which, looks like it's the same script the uh, Wizards had, so that, you know, there are a few scripts that, I think there's one script that's used twice, and of course there's the Medusa script that's used by three things, so. Yeah, that's uh, a little spooky. A little spooky. The Thor hammer does its job. It is very interesting to me just how close these runners are. Oh, well, you know, we're going to get a rune sword to replace the, the uh, coral sword we walked past. Of course, it won't be as effective on Kraken, but against Lich and Terry, it will be great. Mm-hmm. Rune sword with these elemental bonuses actually can be very effective. And... Question quit. We haven't seen Tail yet? No, Tail has not been seen. Alert. Alert. We have found the Masa box. Neither runner is going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is an unfortunate location for that Masa box. Very unfortunate. You know, if they're feeling spicy later, that Flame Sword will get the type bonus against Warmack. Yeah, you know, that sort of helps. Um, demons thinking about it? Oh, that's spicy. That's spicy. The worst part about using Ice 2 on this pack is that it just takes so long to watch two AoE spells hit this entire group. Yes. Like you so kind true. of you kind of just wanted the the uh, the harm four to go first to clear out the mummies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sixteen really? and seventeen. He doesn't he heal do up between. Huh. We've got a roost stick. We've got Invis too. We've got Fast. We've 
got stops that don't hit anybody. That's yeah. fantastic. Okay. One of the good things about fighting a Warmech is that you do get some good info for Topher because Warmech and the Fiends and Chaos all share the same spell pool and Pixabon does his Lightning 3 does not do the 256 Bane strats. You know, sometimes you just gotta hope and hope is sometimes a very dangerous um, yes, like right now, it looks like the 350 threats might be his best chance. In fact, he's thinking about it. Oh, he goes with uh, the three. You know what I worry about with this is... Oh, there's the canoe? Yep. A, all right, so that'll open up our floater and all the sky checks. Oh, air check, so, I should say. <laughs> all right. We're at a very dangerous point for Dina. Because, yep, there's... That's what I was worried about. Um, he also opens up ordeals, which sometimes has something. I'm trying to think, what else could we reach with the airship that we, you know, is going to provide us progression? It's like, well... Cardia. Yes. The, the 13 boxes of Cardia turns out to contain stuff all the time. Now, the, the thing I was worried about with Demon RHK getting down to the solo thief is you've got two problems with Warmack. The first is the thief was not the one wearing the ribbon. The second is that Warmack has regen. <laughs> and if you're not outpacing the regen, it, it's tiny. Like, you know, it's like five hit points around or something. But it can be enough in this 110 to 200% boss HP scale to really mess with you when you don't have a bunch of tempers or power bombs yet. Meanwhile, Ghost Body Demon RHK's Black Mage, another thing I've been hating since 1990, are the ghosts, but Krellin is now closing in on Kraken and the four shards he would get from lighting the air orb. Red Mage, our tracker in chat, calling Cardia's got the loot. Seen it so many times. Yes. Uh, does anything else have it? Trolls! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chaos too. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, which, I think the... Is it the... There's a sword that targets regen. Yeah, that's um, the flame sword. The flame sword targets regen? Yes. Oh. That's why it gets the type bonus against Warmack. You see, I was like 80% there. <laughs> I was... Like, I didn't know the Flame Sword had a type bonus against Warmack. I wonder why. But I did know about the regen, so that's that is cool. Rowan remembering the Red Mage's heal two bonus or opens up and realized, oh I could just use the level eight ones. Now he's actually moving his party around. He's ready to take on Kraken. Demon RHK is leaving that Masa behind. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Excal will target everything but Chaos, so it's fine. Like, everything has a type except Chaos, which... I mean, Chaos is ace confirmed. Um, but, yeah. There's the canoe for Demon. These racers continuing to stay just neck and neck. This scene has actually been really portion of the route. We haven't seen much divergence yet, although maybe the canoe will have a and of course that unlocking the airship will have a few possibilities. Let's do, if you proximity, do you maybe consider checking ordeals, which is a little more convenient to get to by ship? Ordeals is a trap. It's eight checks. And the ordeal space. <laughs> that place sucks. That, that's yes, like... It does. It's on par with Marsh Lock in these flags to me. Um, and that says something. Okay, the stun on the thief is actually super concerning because the thief, I believe, has the main sword. Um, yes, it does. And we have not seen... Lamp or Cure 4, 
And of course, with the thief's thumb, the evasion does not matter. Yeah, the thief had the opal bracelet on, but you know, the the stunning weakness of every light warrior is a limited pool of hit points, and um, Kraken does a pretty good job of targeting that. Oh, making good use of that one. 300 damage, really getting some good damage from that, but Kraken is still there. Oh, the lightning comes out to finish off the Kraken. And a sea snack him. <laughs> Attack. No. Do they just punch? If they just punch, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Unlike the waters who are just giving Demon RHK the business. Oh, uh, the crack came out and then probably the punches, right? I'm just guessing. Yep. <laughs> I just I just saw the crack and saw light warriors on their faces. He saw the paws. That's got to be a bit frustrating. <laughs> To put it Disheartening. In my <laughs> Did he save the fighter at all? I didn't look. He might not have even remembered that the fighter had that, or might have used ruse instead, because you can't swing if you're flat on your face. I'm surprised that Krellin's not taking waterfall while he's here. I'm a surprised too. It's a proximity play. It's some checked yats. Not many, but... You know, the robot can have something. I've seen, you know, floaters in Waterfall. We don't see that to see, but, you know, could, you know, it could be something in there like the cube. I think more to the point, you're right there. You don't want to come back to this con. <laughs> yeah, you just want to be done. It's, said it's the proximity play. Where is Krellen going? Uh, airship words. Which is really awkward. Um, technically, the fastest way from Onrak is to sail south and around the little horn there, then head west. This is close, but it's... yeah. You're so likely to overshoot on this, because at least with the southern route, again, that's like a couple tiles faster because of the northern horn versus southern horn. But the... Um, the big thing is that you can use the continent, uh, you know, with Gaia there to guide you and figure out where you're going. All right. Krone is now in the air, roughly the 55 minute mark. He considered volcano. Meanwhile, Waters cracked down two of three, 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 yeah, three two thirds of Demon RHK's party. Where's your heart? Is yep. All right. We're turning in the TNT to get. Uh, hopefully a tail is what I'm seeing. I don't understand why we didn't check the bottle. We get the ribbon here. Super good. Always glad to see a ribbon. Which means the bottle might be the tail. Or it could be loose in Sky Heat somewhere. It can't be loose. It's incentivized. Oh, that's right. But we have the slab translated and we have the bottle. From here, it looks like we're headed to Cardia Checks. No, we're headed over to Gaia. Going to turn in the bottle. Doesn't even bother checking the magic, not that I blame him. I don't know why we're checking the armor shop. We know where the two good things are. Do check the item shop. It does not have what we need here. All right. Demon RHK is trying to figure out the strat. And the strat was move the the Bane Sword, I think. The Ruse sticking. That's good. Looks like he's, if he grabbed that Coral Sword, then attacking with the Thief is actually a pretty viable strategy. Uh, Astos is an incentivized check, yes, um, because he's considered a fetch NPC. I missed what the fairy had. Did you see? I this one I saw, but I don't remember. Oh, uh, the Vorpal, Vorpal plus three. That's actually very good. There's our tail coming from Lefane. The worst check in the game has paid out. 
Now, again, I say this is the worst check in the game, partly because of the standard long walk, but also the difficulty of getting all three, the slab, the floater, and the canoe, so that you can actually get here. This is a terrible check in these flags. Of course, I've also seen a lot of unrunnables on that walk as well, but Krellen skates from his way through that. We're going to check our chests first, which is totally reasonable. We've got a save set up right by the Hobbit's Cave. And that means it's pretty central to all of our islands. That's a reset. Right, meanwhile, Demon Arch Cave takes down Kraken. It's like that thief was wielding the Coral Sword. Coral Sword, very strong. Mage Stick, not bad. Not enough to keep. It is enough to keep. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. It's not enough. I mean, this free fire too, but you know, Demon RSK is going to make the waterfall place. So we'll see if, you know, if this turns out to be something like a loot, that could be really big. The loot is the single thing that I'm afraid of being there at this point. Now, this island had the goods. There were two shards in there. Our, excuse me, Red Mage, our tracker in check, calling out Robots Got the Herb. Big shout outs to our tracker, Red Mage, by the way. Yeah, uh, it is very hard to do comms without the, uh, the help of a tracker. It's good to have somebody to keep you honest. There's Krellen getting the promotion at 5910. Demon to the spike tile. You know, almost an hour in, and you're only at level. 14, although the good news is that means you, Knight and the Ninja will be getting all those spell charges. Zeus Punk? Not bad to see. I don't mind that. Dragon Sword and a Shard. Okay. That's not great, but at least we know. Now Krellen equipping his post-promo weapons and armor? plus five is big. <laughs> it, I mean, it is even better than that ice armor, although without a ribbon, you're not getting the resistance that the ice armor provides. Docking at that river being just a, a bear for demon here. So he's going to try the ordeals play. I mean, he been trolled a few times by sea, so I well, maybe if I find something like a dude or a cube in here, that could be the big brain play. Yeah, it's just, you've got the floater, you've got the canoe. Man, I'd be diving hard towards Volcano right now. Krellen finally going to check the, uh, the Northwest Castle side of things, get that katana. Which I think he had seen before, and he just he reset, reset it out. Uh, Barber, let me tell you, that buckler plus five is actually real armor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like it, but man, nurses do so much. And even though shields and gloves and hats are only plus one, minus one uh, for each blurse point, a buckler plus five versus nothing is really good. One of the things you have lurchers like this, you kind of have to rethink your, you know, what you think of some of the weapons and unrunnable guiles. That's annoying. Uh, that was a cube coming in on our deals. That could be big, but we do not actually have to light all four orbs. But if there's a loot in the sky or something like that, that could be huge. Yeah. Alright. It's, uh... It's zombie D time, apparently. We're just gonna take this fight. Why not? It's right here. It's easy experience. You've got harm four. Relative easy experience. I mean, sometimes these things surprise you with a nasty script, but... It doesn't look like it's gonna be the case this time. 
what has been really interesting to see is how much um, Exit played a role early in the seed and then how it just stopped. <laughs> like, oh, uh, worth noting, so that Life 2 was slot 4 level 1, right? Yes. So, any time now, Krellen should go pick that up on both the Red Wizard and the Knight. Of course, Life 1 was level 6, and that can be used in battle in this flag set, and if Krillin had picked up that Life 2, he might have a ninja right now that was not flat on his face. There's the third ribbon. Ribbon trifecta for Krillin. No, Krillin does not have the Marsh Lock one. Demon oh, RHK that's right. does. Oh, that's right. We've seen the, all three ribbons. Yes, so this, you know, is kind of a big deal. Krellin not caring about the ninja being face down, despite the ninja having the katana. I guess, get the Vorpal for the fighter, or the knight, rather. Uh, that's pretty good. We have found Nuke. It is unfortunate. <laughs> yes, level 8. In Cure 4 as well. That's rough. All right, Demon RHK picking up his Vorpal. seen the Excal yet, which is a great bonus for the night up until Chaos, as we've talked about. Yep. I'd mage calling out that we haven't seen a check on the Oasis Bender. I think that with the floater in hand, it sort of makes sense that we haven't seen it. I was a gold plus four in that chest. We take those. And then we realize one of our ribbons is not equipped. Yeah. Whoops. Um... We also just tossed away a silver bracelet minus one, and did not actually have a, uh, a bracelet for the Black Wizard otherwise, so, oops. Um, it's fine. Oh, for the Red Wizard. Okay, alright, we're moving the Opal over from the Ninja. Rear Sword plus five. Fine's cake. It's a very expensive cake. You, I'm a plus six. That's actually some pretty decent defense there, but it's no ribbon. I wonder if Krellin is setting up to take an Agma Crack. Because he healed only the knight. how many shards he has, but we know where the Agamas are, we also know where the eyes are, but the Agamas are a much safer grind, and with the, the fairly high level knight, you're probably not going to worry too much about carry. My apologies to Curl in advance if I have commentator cursed him. I think that there's enough shards in hand to merit the grind, and we have two more right there, of course. Um, and the merit of the grind is that this knight becomes a lot stronger with that Vorpal once we actually get a couple levels into it that has hit points. Or, or rather, strength. Um, so, I mean, you can see right now it's two rounding the Agama. Um, <laughs> the Agama only hit the Red Wizard for three damage. <laughs> <laughs> because of the amount of armor it has right now. But this is not a threatening Agamon. He's not taking the time to actually unequip his other characters, then again he maybe thought with like 5 HP that the Red Wizard would go down. He's not actually taking an extended grind. One thing I've strategy I've seen a lot in this tournament is the go for three grind. Yeah, that has been very popular. Um, I am. Oh, he is going to heal up now. He's decided he's not going to grind here. That's fine. Oh, he's just going to heal up the red. Okay. 
maybe drop down to two man strats for a bit of the seed. We don't really have a huge need for the black wizard. You know, Demon RHK having picked up his cube is going to head in the sky. That's a very reasonable play. Yep, we still haven't seen what all's in sky, and there's still a loot and a crown and an herb that are unaccounted for. It's so sad watching that, uh... Watching that Aegis shield get binned. <laughs> It is sad. Meanwhile, Crone picked up a black shirt plus five for his black wizard. It's a very good black shirt. Black shirts are one of only two pieces of armor to protect against time magic, the ribbon obviously being the other. Alright, so we've put the black wizard in slot one. We are hoping that it goes down. That's that's what I've gathered here. I think we're hoping that it casts fast and then goes down. I mean, yes. We'll see if we get the turn order. If we get the turn order, sort of. He <laughs> went before carry, but of course not before the night swung, because, I mean, why would turn order do that? 525 from that vocal, that is pretty impressive. Poison touch carry. Takes down Carrie's gonna pick up his two shards, light his fire orb. Five shards remaining, but still needs the loot. Demon RHK gonna have a slight advantage here, and I say slight, I really mean significant advantage. If that loot ends up being in Sky, because Krellen does not seem likely to head towards ordeals. But if the loot happens to be in ice, that'll be a big advantage for Krellen. This is anyone's race. And point out in chat, the Walking Sky grind is also popular. Yes, it is. That is a very popular grind in many flag sets. You have lots of great enemies with great a well, great AXP enemies. Also worth noting that Demon RHK has promoted. We'll be able to use that katana, the portable plus three, whatever you know wants to put on there. Uh, the katana is what's equipped. <laughs> yep, that <laughs> Which, is what he's using. And I think that makes sense, especially pre-bosses, and it, it's going to make a lot more sense without the temper charges. One thing of the katana versus the Vorpal plus three, it also really depends on your... Like I said, if you have really the boss stats, you're going to want as much credit as you can get regardless. We're starting with the Bane Sword chest because why wouldn't we? It's the biggest meme chest that we have in Sky. Just some money. No big worries. Meanwhile, Frost Dragons are unrunnable. That could be annoying come toe for one, but it's easy to reset out of. Mm -hmm. Bad men not looking too bad, just some melee. Krillin heading into the ice loop. We'll see what he finds here. Meanwhile, Dragon Demon armor RHK plus five. What? Find something that Krillin would really like, but he doesn't care about. Sun sword plus four. Hmm. Neat. I mean, that's definitely a pretty good weapon, but I don't know if he really needs it. Actually, that red mage is still using his red. Red Ridge is really still using his fist. He could put the Sun Sword on him and okay, he eh. puts it with an Ice Sword, but... Uh, that looked like a pile of money on the right side there. But we are taking an Eye Grind. Uh, Krellen, I believe, has five shards left to go. Roughly. Maybe, maybe less. Uh, I, I last saw when he was pre-carry, so he might be down to three needed. So the experience bonus is pretty high right now, and getting this two-man leveled up is helpful. Those eyes putting out 6,300 experience per fight for each of these characters is pretty good. Yep, he's up to level 23 now, which is pretty good for Topher, although 
the ball pool, maybe you want to go a little further and hit the next break point. Well, he's now at four swings, so that'll be eight if he's fasted. There's a white shirt minus one on Demon RHK's side. Not the best armor, but free in Viz 2 is free in Viz 2. Big chunk of change, though. Yeah, we're past the point where money matters, though. Um, we've yeah. established ourselves. Way past the point where money matters. We're gonna get our full checks in here on Demon RHK side. Go through the whole spider floor. Not a fun time going through this floor, but the encounters here are the best experience per invested uh, action, from what I recall. Because you get the eyes here. You don't get gigantic packs of bad men here. It's a lot of solo encounters where you can just, you know, hold a watch it go. Meanwhile, Krillin up to level 26. I'm curious to what level he plans to go to. There's a Light Axe plus one, which is free harm two for his White Wizard. I... Low level harm four. Yeah, you're fine. So the only thing I'm worried about at this point for Krellin is the cube. Because getting the levels right now is telling me that he's planning on one-shotting Topher when he gets there and just not caring. Um, this also tells me that he's aware that with Temper being level 6, it's going to be difficult to have enough casts of that to matter, and so the base strength of the fighter going up is a big deal. Demon RHK, with all of the extra chests and the sky grinding here, you know, all of the extra levels from that, it's going to be a decent position, but ninjas are squishy. That's kind of one of their defining character flaws. That's very true. Many times you've seen it where the ninja just doesn't have enough HP to survive that nuke or nuclear, and we didn't see the votes from Warmack. Yeah, we saw it in Inferno from Warmack, and otherwise not a whole lot else. The, the downside of what we saw was that there was like a fire tube. You know, little things like that. Alright, Krellin has decided he is done with the eye. Our Hydra's with Frost surprisingly painful. <laughs> oh, that's right, Stop. Stop was on Warmack. accuracy, that can be a little problematic if you don't have enough ribbons. Mm -hmm. And basically the spells that actually break paralysis were both level 8. Although, I think Amy also breaks it, but who buys that? Correct. I believe you're correct. There's the other katana on Krellin's side. Um, we are in shards complete for Demon. Um, I don't think we've seen the loot yet. No, we are, we are running out of locations to check. Like, we've got Earth 4 plus Vampire chests remaining. <laughs> yeah, I cannot think of any other locations. Uh, I mean, and Krellin finishing out Ice. That's the other thing. Um... Demon very unlikely to take the patrolling Warmack here. Yeah. I would not blame him. I still I see 228 on that ninja. I'm sure he isn't fully healed, but that just like you said ninjas can be very squishy. Yeah, so you kind of want to have supplementary levels on them. Krellin, you're right here. Please go buy spells. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're getting ready for Tiamat on Demon's side, which is fine. Um, level 21, 23, that's very reasonable. 29 on Krellin's fighter. Yes, and he's done. We are definitely looking for that loot. And Krellin's thinking, and Krellin's yep. gonna go get that third ribbon. <laughs> I mean... 
It won't be a loop, but I'm sure he'll still be happy to see it. I'm betting that Krellin's thought process is... I don't know if my opponent was able to complete Earth, but I do think that they would skip Marshlocked. This was uh, actually pretty reasonable thinking. I mean, it turned out that his opponent didn't, but... Yeah, right, it's the exact opposite is what happened. <laughs> um, Barbara is still asking, was the shop item located? No, but neither runner has checked the Oasis. Which would also be hilarious, by the way, because the loot could be the shop item in the Oasis. Well, Demon Arcade Fighting Tia not getting a lot of damage, but he's evaded up and really haven't seen anything much out of Tia. Bane just isn't landing for him either. Oh, we're gonna take the wizards. He hits three damage from TMR under the White Wizard. Uh, crack does crack things. Takes out only a ninja. Well, we're gonna get our Aegis plus five. And we walked we away! No, we we probably walked away. didn't hear the chime. Is like, wait, wait, wait! We're doing it again. <laughs> we're doing it live. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's fine. He has that ribbon. He has might need one. He has a nice sword equipped on that red image. The red image could just melee them now. <laughs> He'd probably do better with that. But we are in that position of hey, we didn't actually buy the life spell. We were right there. Buying those extra magic costs time, but I've seen it cost a switch if you know, like, a life or a life two or something there. It's like, it can save you a whole lot of time versus a wipe, and Krillin finds that ribbon. So, we're looking to drop something. Alright, we've dropped something to get that ribbon. And well, we what we really needed to do was we needed to drop the opal shield and move the Aegis. <laughs> where yes. it belongs. We're doing it! <laughs> Alright. And now he doesn't equip the pro cape that he just pulled out. He also is skipping the bottom right chest, which was a shard, I think, if I'm remembering right. <laughs> I think that's what it was, but it was not a key item. It wasn't the loot, we know that. There's some nerves right now. Yes. Um, the, this flag set, we've seen a few sub hours. We've seen a lot of races in the 110 to 120 range. We have hit the 120 mark, and neither of these runners has found the loot. Or the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And each is probably worried that the other has found it. Even RHK going to check off Volcano, which we know doesn't have the loop. And it does have the third ribbon. Yes. Oh, no, I'm not getting first. sleepy. Red Mage, I'm not getting sleepy. <laughs> I don't know if Krellin checked the hairpins. Good point. I, mean, I thought I, I saw him in some of them, but I don't know about all of them. I don't think he checked these two, but I'm not 100%. He checked the left hairpin, which is, like, barely a hairpin. But these two chests, I think he faded. And I understand that, you know, but he has one. So why would you skip that? Okay, okay. Very professional. Yep. Professional strength cape. I think Krellin got Earth TFC before he left. I believe so. So we're really looking at the Vampire Chest and Earth Armory and Lich's Bedroom. Well, it's not in the hairpins. Nothing like a last location loot. 
Yup. Which, I mean, that's gonna be a significant advantage, Krellin, if we're right. I believe both of our runners are in full shards at this point. I can't imagine that Krellin's missing any. Maybe he was. Was he four short? Ooh, that's actually a little concerning. Because there were a decent number of shards in the sky, for sure. Even RHK finds the third ribbon, Krillin finds the crown! And the, and loot. And the loot! Of course, Exit was white locked, so he can't just walk out, although he probably has enough warp charges if he picked it up. And the herb! herb. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, what he has to wonder is... Where's this cube at? And that's got to be a nagging thought. Uh, we are going to take Lich most likely because of the two shards. He reset out of one in Toflocked. That leaves one left to get. What do you do if there's not one in the chests here? Well, that is a good question. It's like, do I remember resetting out of any other shards? I mean, he did reset a few things. I, you know? Did he fully recheck um, Northwest when he went into Did he just grab the katana? Because there was a shard in there. I think he just grabbed the katana, but I am not sure. We're taking the long loop through here. There's a shard. Okay. That actually is huge for Krellin. So, Lich plus... The shard in Toflocked will be enough for Krellin to get into Topher. And he has the loot. That Demon RHK is going to be going on a journey to yes. Earth 4 in... Oh, man. This is... This is spooky. Meanwhile, don't blink because you might miss the Lich, because especially with a Facet Knight and Ninja. Dark doesn't uh, land. The ninja wasn't fasted. Both of those fasts were targeting the knight. We were just trying to protect against turn order. Now, what I am concerned about is the ninja has a ribbon, but not the knight. And that's a little strange when you're this concerned about where you're at. Uh, that is an Xcal plus five. We take those. That now you can put that verbal back on when it comes to chaos, if you remember. Uh, Not that you... I often forget. So here's the the trick of that is the Xcal plus five has an almost acceptable crit rating for the extra oomph that it has in base attack power. Like you could very reasonably look at that and just say, "This is enough. I, I got what I need." Some Excal plus five do some pretty good damage on Chaos. In fact, it seems like Excal's rolled plus four, plus five a lot. <laughs> and this is gonna be our power bonk. Yes. There's Opal Helm dropped or Opal Gauntlet maybe. Yep. Don't see Opal Gauntlets equipped too often. That's actually I guess he just never picked up the throw rings. Crawl uh, and turn around. Oh, the ruse stick. He remembers his ruse stick that he didn't pick up. Pick up your life, too. <laughs> Please. So scary that he hasn't picked it up. He's not going to pick it up. Oh, boy. And, you know, Cure 3 is also in Provoca. That's not too bad for now. You have fast for the ninja. You need to move that. Yes, yes. Okay, we we figured that part out. We, we're leaving the pro cape unequipped on the black wizard for some reason. <laughs> Just might not remember that. Yes, they can use pro capes. The only one who cannot is the black belt of memory serves. I believe you are correct. All right, we're lifeless and we're going in. <laughs> Full play, Cotton. We'll see if it works out for him. So, an hour 27, 
Demon RHK is still on the loot hunt and is going to be sorely disappointed in here. Very much so. I can't remember if there was much of anything in Ice. A Sun Plus Four that he's not going to care about? That's about it. At least Crow could have made some use out of that with his Red Wizard, but did not actually pick it up. Although, if you're down to Red Wizard melee strats, you're probably already in big trouble. Yeah, especially in these flags, the stat scaling is high enough that I'm very concerned if I have to pull out the, uh, pull out the Red Mage beat stick. Yeah, doing that, I mean, you might be hoping for a crit loop. Hopefully you're against Chaos. <laughs> I mean, the, the other thing is, the Red Mage at least could theoretically have spells to support itself, but I don't think we have those. <laughs> it has fast, which helps, and... ...temper locked out of. <laughs> I like or the way he... you think, Link Shot. <laughs> actually, excuse me, Saber he's locked out of. Temper, I think he could actually learn. Yeah, I also like the way you link link shot, yeah. So for for the fans on YouTube who are watching this recording later, the Vorpal goes on the Red Wizard out of principle. It's the nerd sword for nerds. You know, I'm I'm down with that. Now as much as I like the the Vorpal when it rolls up. Man <laughs> Does it roll down often, in my experience? And then you're just like swinging a wet spaghetti noodle and hoping that it hits something in the eye. <laughs> Pretty much. I think, of course, I don't think the quick bonus, or in this case, Malice was as bad, but I remember making do with the Vorpal Minus 5 ones, somehow. Ugh. I think I had a lot of temperature casts. <laughs> and pulling up carry 2. We didn't see anything nasty out of Lich 2, but we didn't see Lich 2 too long. And it's okay. Right if, yeah. <laughs> this carry is not going to last. Ink actually lands on the ninja. I like that we're still casting lit. <laughs> 32 damage and carry 2 is down! Oh, that... It has been such a silly Difference Maker spell, right? Like, you don't necessarily think that you're going to see Lit be the Difference Maker. And... <laughs> and indeed, Red Mage, let's go. Yeah. You know, Demon Arts K is in Earth. He's going to find his loot and the other loot, such as the Herb and the Crown. Crown he won't care so much about since that was the X Cal, as I recall. Um, the the herb rather important for the saber casts. You have Crown up my Kraken two, but he didn't get Kraken two. Does not realize that he did not get much on the night. Attacks the night. <laughs> that night is. Thick too. Like that is some of the best equipment that it can possibly have for absorb. And so we're we're very likely to see that knight just survive. Oh, 10 hits 15 11. Down goes Kraken. See the ooh, elemental bonus on that X Cal really coming in. Yeah. And with the X Cal being plus five, it is such a big sword. <laughs> the base attack on it is huge. The plus 35 elemental bonus is huge. Like, that thing is looking at 90-something attack before it, 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 tempers. Hits 568 damage. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It does one damage. The, the X-Cal might just be sufficient because of the lack of tempers. Right? 
Like, the Vorpal is probably better on the crit basis, but you're still looking at about a 7.5% crit rate on this X-Cal. It's not bad. <laughs> no, when the X-Cal rolls up, they can actually get a pretty good crit rate. But you all the times I've forgotten to equip the Vorpal, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to make this X-Cal work, and I do. Down goes Tia 2. Krellin on the charge to Chaos here, so... We'll see if Chaos is a gatekeeper, but with this knight being as thick as it is, I have my doubts. We have yeah, more than enough heal potions. Meanwhile, about the 1 hour 32, 45 second mark, even RHK has entered Topher. If Chaos pulls out some trick, you know, this would put the RHK in the lead. It just doesn't seem likely right now. I'm gonna fire three to start things out. Ship damage across the board. A heal two will take care of that. Using up the ninja, you no know, big. Make it a dodge tank. And Krelling is powering up this uh, this knight. There's power gauntlets. There's tempers coming out. So we do have a couple of temper charges on the black wizard. Viz 2 coming up from the Red Wizard. Even this RHK is... has made it to the Lich floor. Or, yep. Not quite. Not quite. I got confused. Rage it out of chaos, so... Meanwhile, the Mighty Lich spell comes out. 43 damage. And I say that only half jokingly, because Lit has been pretty good. Of course, Chaos resists lightning. Um, this knight is about to hit like a truck. Nine hits in 1374. Yeah, you called it. Hit like a truck. You throw enough tempers and sabers onto something, like any sword will do, but at the same time, like, this could have been better done with the four bullet game scout here. It's okay. Seems like we're getting there. 10 hits, hits 1279. 5 hits 153 out of the music. Chaos cannot have much left. But more than 61 left. Wow! Chaos still standing. It made call cast lit again. I actually I like that strategy. Why not? But the 8 hits 204. Get your GG's out and check for Krill and Finn. She with official time of 1 hour 34 minutes 54 seconds. And Demon RHK is pausing, and he might be throwing in the towel. <laughs> I would not blame him. Yeah, it looks like Demon has tossed in the towel here, but GG nonetheless. This The last location loot was brutal. Yes, it was. And, uh, you know, we'll see about getting the interview links out to these fine folks. Welcome to the booth, Demon RHK. GG's, this is, uh, this is a tough one. Oh, Danny Spiders, those, those wizards, and they were runnable! <laughs> oh. That wasn't even the worst part. The worst part is when I came back, bounced off of them four times, said, fine, I'll check lock, and there's the river. I think the worst, worst part was that they were just guarding an Aegis seal that you couldn't use. That I couldn't even use. Um, and then I think with the cheeky ordeals play, oh man, if there's something in sky and probably cost me the race. It's hard to tell. You know, it, the density makes sense. And the levels you're going to get out of sky makes sense. And you and Krellin both did not have the resources to finish out that earth. No, I soon that I had this, the magic was awful and i was already burned on resources so i cracked that last chest i'm like i've got a key i've got extra charges it, I, I don't even i've got like two casts of ice two i don't even know if i can get through vampire at this point so let's just bail on it 
And I would have bailed like three chests earlier than you did. So I was constantly in fear once you got past that first chest on Earth 3 that you were like out of harm four charges and out of lit three. And yeah, that was, it was a little scary. But you managed to get a lot farther than I thought, getting that Thor hammer as a result. And that um, was helpful throughout the scene for you, it looked like. Yeah, the Thor, hel- the Thor hammer gave me at least finally a backup where I could have some consistent item damage because, like, what, Nuke was at 8, I think Fade was locked at, was locked at White Wizard at 5, which I didn't even go back, back for. Uh, um, and temper, temper at six. It was just a comedy of errors. So you bravely took out Warmack. What were your thoughts there? Uh, muscle memory. Plus, as soon as I saw the, uh, as soon as I saw the text pop up, I went, "Oh God, no!" And at that point, I had already hit the box, so I might as well have gave it the old college try. But level fifty. Deep swinging a coral to even with a fast charge is like two crits for a hundred damage. I mean, if the inferno didn't come out and I got like nine turn more turns of melee, maybe I would have got it. But no, I, I muscle memory. I constantly do that. I usually mu- end up muscle memorying into Warmack. If it's late, fine. If it's early, I die, and it just happened to be in a really bad spot where. But at least I didn't have to go through any more at the to go back to the uh, trap chest down there. It's true. This seed really didn't lend itself to divergence earlier. What was your thoughts once you pulled out that canoe in particular? So the canoe basically just meant, all right, well we're going to, that that frees up going over toward all your canoe checks, uh, volcano ice, all that. Um, I just ended up, I'm like, I'm gonna do the cheeky ordeals play in case something's in there, and it just ended up sending me through a rabbit hole there, and I, I knew I was going to go immediately get get into the air, but getting that cube probably hurt me a lot more than it helped. Well, if that loot had been up in sky instead of Earth 4, that might have turned out for you. Meanwhile, we're joined in the booth by Krillin, GG Krillin. GG, that sea, that marsh cave, that earth, that everything. L- listen, when I saw Danny was rolling it, I warned you before this race started to save early and save often, and there's a reason for that. I, I felt like I couldn't move. I, I just kept trying to go forward. It's just unrunnable is here, unrunnable there. That earth cave was one of the nastiest that I've seen. Just no no power. I bailed out, and I think he bailed out too, and it was just mm-hmm. awful. I, yeah. I'm actually surprised. I, I I took the win on that one and full cleared everything. It's like okay, I feel ready. I got revenge on that stupid marsh cave, though. I went back and I got a, the Aegis and a ribbon out of it, so I wasn't too sad about the occasion. Yeah, one of the rare seeds in this flag set where you walk out with all three ribbons and. You know, anything that you really wanted, equipment-wise. <laughs> then I just put the fighter to work and says, okay, you're handling everything. I was going to swap over back over to the board pool, and I completely forgot. I'm like, well, this is happening. It's okay. Excal plus five is a real sword for real fighters. It hit like a truck. It was great. I was happy to see big numbers on Kraken. You saw big numbers on all of the Fiend refights and on <laughs> Chaos. There were a lot of tempers and sabers into that Excal at the end, though. I wasn't taking any chances. I had just some awful, awful practice seeds in the past few days, and I, I did not come into this with a, a, a positive, this is going to go well attitude. And just seeing, finally being able to delete Kraken like that felt really, really refreshing. I, I thought he was on my tail. I'm like, there's no way. And I, I, I was doing an eye grind. I'm like, why am I doing an eye grind? He's probably in, in Topher right now. He's probably on his way to chaos. And then he, he didn't complete. I'm like, how is he not done? Demon RSK is a f- fantastic speed runner. And I, I, hmm. I, am, I, I am happy and honored to be able to, to race against him. Always. Oh, yeah. GG's, man. No, it was... I, I There were... 
I mean, I, I think we had talked about it. I got bit by ordeals. I full cleared Sky, went the whole way. Every chest took out Tia, and Tia didn't take Tia didn't take the chloroform sword until like the tenth cast. Um, oh, oh, that let's let's add to that wiping off of crack and floor when the water bracked me through the ribbon, or cracked uh, me through the ribbon. Oh, oh no. I think but that no. happened to me, and uh, I, I I escaped when I went down to to redo the because I was just scrambling to find the loot, and I just needed like a couple more orbs. Uh, I still got cracked through ribbon, and like half my team died, and I managed to get out of there with a with a red mage. No, the, the GGs though, man, that was it was a definitely an attrition seed. Like you said, those unrunnables coming up early and often. Sharks came up unrunnable. Uh, the ogre gur ogre packs came up unrunnable um of course the wizards came up unrunnable and they just happened to be in three dungeons yeah the sleep crack fire two wizards those were fun and all right Krellen. had the same script <laughs> mm. so so Krellen, i have to ask you about the mvp of the seed lit um <laughs> so yeah improved ice fire lightning is a very interesting flag and we've seen it come up a few times uh let's let's talk about that lit <laughs> well it did its job i was crying when i saw the magic that we had and i was like this is uh, uh no percent extra hit on the fighter the the katana roll basic i had the, mm. the vorpal which was great and then i saw the crown and i was like oh thank you picked up the x cow and did a little giggle of glee, and I'm like, okay, I can swing this. I, I, I was happy with the Vorpal. I was much happier with the Excal. And that lit. Oh, I put that thing to work. Yeah, I. you took out at least one fiend with the lit, and that was uh, that was pretty entertaining. That was the terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say, that lit was pretty lit. But really, there was not much divergence, you know, until you got the canoe. What were your thoughts when you pulled out that canoe? Other than, I'm getting in the air right away. I, I, just, I just kept going. It's like, I gotta abandon Earth. There's nothing I can do here. I'm not strong enough. Just keep moving. I, I, the, my only hope was that uh, Demon Aaron RHK was... Like, maybe he was stuck on Earth, too. Or maybe he, like, wiped to the stupid crack wizards enough times that I could possibly pull ahead if I just kept going and I just kept finding item after item. Thankfully, I just felt like I was running around with my head caught. I was like, where do I go? What do I do? These flags are definitely difficult for that. Uh, so, looking forward in the tournament here... Uh, so, with the completion of this match, Krellen, you will be going up against Spellzap in round two. Oh, gosh! Have <laughs> fun! Uh, it, I, that'll be a first. I <laughs> will go down fighting. Uh, one of the absolute upper champions, bring it. I'm going to at least make him work for it. Probably and, not very hard, but I'm still going to make him work! But how these... See, it can go crazy. You never know. Mm -hmm. uh, and the follow-up is whoever loses from your match versus Spellzap will end up going down to face Clementitus in the lower bracket, uh, who is no slouch. He's he's a wily runner, I have found over the years. And uh, Demon RHK, it looks like you are going to be going up against Budgemano, which, I mean, Spellzap is, is top-tier opponent Bajamano, also champion quality runner. How you feel about that? Um, well, at least I'll have two matches in this tournament. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. No, I feel. You know what? I, I it's been. It's going to be interesting after all is said and done in this tournament to see what the conversations are like. Um, I'll be completely honest and probably probably shouldn't be this honest and coming through qualifiers I've been a bit demoralized on things but it's been it's been interesting and it's been a, a fun to see a different way of approaching your normal racing because normally we're running for key item locations 
This one, it's just like you said, check with your head cut off, where do I go now? And then it's just trying to, you know, minimize the damage as best you can. And I, I, I'm just looking forward to having another match. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, here, here. I love these flag sets. This, it feels absolutely amazing. I, I like the challenge to this. It feels very, very well done and set up for, for a race. The the organizers, the reseeders, everyone, thank you so much for putting it in this tournament. It's, this is, no matter how far I go, <laughs> it ain't going to be far against Spell Zap because holy crap, he's, he's absolutely amazing. Everybody in this tournament is amazing. Uh, I'm very grateful to even be here. Classic Gamer, do you have uh, any other questions for our runners? Let's see, I cannot think of any... Well, actually, I do think of one. What was your thinking behind your party selection? I was double thinking left and right. I'm like, well... well, it, it, my, my MO right now has been if uh, I'll go with... I used to run absolutely fighter, thief... Red Mage, White Mage, and I've since changed that. And I was like, well, if level one has nothing, or it has something like fade or exit or something that I can roll or get right away, I'll try and re-roll really quick, just A, B, and C, D, and then grab a, a White Mage. But I, I was super nervous coming into this. Again, my practice seeds have just been all over the place. I, I, I couldn't even finish some of them, but I, I was. I was questioning myself. I was like, okay, I'm, I got to make a commitment on this one. Went with it, and it worked. It was just scary. How about you, Demon? So, um, mostly because of qualifiers, I don't take four-man parties anymore for this flex set. I take, I take max three. In some cases, I'll go down as low as two. The problem was that the thief rolled absolutely garbage blessings, uh, or blessings, I guess, since we don't have any, any malices. Uh, and the fighter rolled self magic, which what did the fighter end up having? It's always going to be bruise and saber. Is that bruise and saber, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't like taking fighter parties, and my my thief is junk. And the re the best of my two mages, because I always go usually go white black, um, is plus two level one MP, which ended up being just life two. Which you know life two cast get have a nine of them, uh, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I thief white black is my standard party, and I just decided to force it rather than uh, audibling over to fighter white black, which I probably could have since. Heaven knows I wasn't going to run from anything anyway with the amount of run unrunnables that showed up in this seed. Um, but yeah, it was... It's a really good balance. You don't find yourself locked out of anything, which was nice because exit. And I... The the agility bonus is just as good as, as having armor on the thief all the way up until, you know, probably the back half of the game, up until you start getting mega hit by things in Sea and Sky. So, I usually try to fade the fighter. Um, on black belts are 99% of the time none, but not viable here. And I just hate being locked out. So red mages, unless I have an absolutely cracked uh, something like Sage on promo, uh, I don't really like to go with either. I certainly follow that logic. Yep. Well, as do I. Do you have any other questions? Harrison. I was thinking we should probably head towards final thoughts. It is midnight Eastern, as it turns out. Yeah, that was a long race. That was tough. It was so hard. This was a doozy. Uh, with that, we'll go uh, Krellin as our winner tonight. Final thoughts. I I went against a good race, and I could uh, uh, an, an absolutely amazing racer uh, announcer. Um, we've been here almost since, I think, around the same time. I mm -hmm. am once again, honored and privileged to be able to to race against such amazing people in this tournament. Uh, thank you so much for the restreamers, uh, the, the the people that were in charge. This has been a blast. You no, know, everyone is here out of love for this game, and everyone puts in so much effort. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all. All right, Demon RHK. Uh, you know, wasn't a, wasn't the finish you were hoping for, but. Your final thoughts, sir? Uh, absolutely, GG's to Krellin. Um, I 
you know, was a great race. Couldn't have asked for anything better there. A nice, a nice long, hard, hard pot slog. Um, better you than me going up against Spell Zap. That's all I'll say against I'll, that. I'll trade you. I'll be happy. No, no, no. Nope, you're perfectly, perfectly fine. fine. You can have Zap and that and and that that extra buffer. That's fine. Uh, uh, I, I can hit. You know, unfinish here. I, it'll only take a couple seconds. No, no. Um, thanks to you guys for calming, tracking, uh, speed gaming for less hijack their channel for a couple hours here. And it should have been a little bit less. Thanks, Danny. Um, but no, uh, it, it's been it's been fun so far overall. Um, and I can't wait to go forward and watch more of these, calm more of these matches too, because as the uh, tournament goes forward. All right. Classic Gamer, your final thoughts, sir. All right, well... Thank you for being my co coms Got to thank Red Mage Arc Tracker for keeping us honest. You know, thanks to Krell and Demon RHK for putting up a great race against pretty formidable seed. And I could also thank Danny for that. And thanks to everyone in the chat for coming out and hanging out with us and having a great time. And thanks to Speed Gaming for hosting us. And take it away, Saracen. All right. Well, if you like what you th saw and you're not yet part of the Discord, you should come join the Discord. We've got uh, our... We don't have our links up in the chat right now. Well, you can go to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com, scroll down to the bottom, hit the Join the Community Discord link, and that will give you that invite. If you want to see more of these races, you can add the spectator role in the role request channel. You'll get a ping about 45 minutes before the race starts. So that will give you more than enough time to get a snack, get yourself settled, and watch all the awesome action that's coming up. Speaking of awesome action coming up, Tomorrow, Saturday, February 3rd, we've got a 1 p.m. race between Dark Moon and Ale. Uh, this is all Eastern. That's going to be on RPG Limit Break. We've got an 8 p.m. Cyrenus versus Herbie B. That is going to be a Bicky broadcast on the FFR channel. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, Wu Bear versus Jay Scheidel and Chanigan versus Gouda. That is going to be on RPG Limit Break. That is a four way, but it's really two and two. And then 10.30 p.m. Eastern, we've got Life Reboot versus Odron on the FFR channel. Again, there will be links to those broadcasts in the spectator ping that goes out. And if you want to learn how to do what these fine runners have done tonight, join us for the Duckling Boot Camp. That is me and Luffy DV teaching you how to play the game, how to beat us. And uh, that is a six-week instructional boot camp starting at the end of March. And that's followed up with a little tournament just for our new players, just for the Ducks, that we call the Duckling Derby. Now, with that, I do want to shout out Speed Gaming for letting us take the channel, Red Mage, our tracker, uh, Classic Gamer 76 who has been a fantastic comms buddy tonight, both of our runners, Krellin and Demon RHK. Give them a follow if you haven't already. And uh, you know, from the booth, I am Saracen, and I hope you all have a fabulous night.